Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Latitude 3490. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to service, clean up, and repaste your uh, laptop. Uh, if your laptop is running really warm, hot, and you don't feel any air coming back from the exhaust at the back end, that means you need you, your service. And if you find it shutting down after a few hours, it's because it's overheating as an Intel CPUs. Once they overheat, they shut down. The tool that you're going to be needing, it's a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set as they provide one of the best tool set that it comes with an aluminum handle. And the bits in here, these are the best bits because they are S2 class steel. They will last you a long time. So we're going to be using Philips Zero uh, from this tool set. Also, you will need an isopropolic isopropolic uh, alcohol with 90 um, plus uh, alcohol you can use an 85 but i recommend anything over 90 percent also you need an opening tool i use a guitar pick a metallic guitar pick but if you want to buy a, a package of the pro package of the ifixit tool set they provide an opening tool in there too but i'm um, really used to a guitar pick as it's really tough and soft edges, perfectly fine to opening um, plastics. And also you will need a working towel. I use this uh, workshop towels. These are really good and handy. So you're gonna use one or two sheets of these ones. And the most important one, it's a thermal paste. You can use an uh, Arctic MX4, which are really good. Or you can go to the best version, which is a Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. These are really one of the top high-end thermal paste. But in this video, I'm going to use an MX4. All right, once we have all this ready, what you want to do, you want to power off your laptop completely. No, no hibernation, nothing like that. Power it up. And what you want to do first, you want to loosen up all the screws at the bottom cover, including the one in the middle. These screws will not come out entirely because they have a little C-lock on them on the other side that prevents them from falling out. So what you want to do, you just want to rotate it until you feel it that is wobbling around and it's moving in there, it's loosened up, and then you want to leave it right there. Don't try yank it out. Why well, do this for the, all the screws? Also, I realize only 1% of my viewers are subscribing to my videos, to my channel. It will be a really so good support and help if you guys could subscribe and like my videos if you find them helpful. I really appreciate it and it really motivates me to make, take requests and answer your questions. And it doesn't cost you anything. Now that we loosen up all the screws, what you want to do, you want to open up the laptop in 45 degree angle. You want to grab your guitar pick and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover right there on the line right in front. Just like that. About two or three millimeters. And then you want to just switch. Switch it right there. Wiggle it around. In the front end, go to the side. Once you get near the VGA connector right there, you want to stop. And then do this end with the power jack and HDMI is. And once you see this one is loosened up the front and the side have a little tiny gap open, you want to put it back down, close it down, hold down on the hinge, put one finger there, press it down, and then lift up this end up and pull it up from this end when the VGA and power jack is. And then you want to slide the case towards the uh, VGA on the other side. So you can loosen up this end right here, this plastic. Because otherwise you can't lift it up because this plastic, otherwise you're gonna break here or break the VGA cable right there. Connector. This is the bottom chassis, and you can go ahead and grab a toothbrush, an old or new toothbrush, and start cleaning the uh, mesh right here. Also, another tool, you need a toothbrush. Alright, down here, first thing first, we're gonna disconnect the battery. You have to remove the battery before you do any service. To remove the battery, you want to unhook this jack right here. So put your fingernail 
right at this corner edge of this white jack corner right there and then you grab the screwdriver on this side and you want to push it towards the battery it might be a little tougher than that but it will come up and then just loosen up and bring it over just leave it right there all right and the fan is right here the fan connector right there so you want to grab and disconnect the fan cable to disconnect the fan cable i don't like yanking on these cables i just put my tweezers beside the jack and then remove it just like that so i don't uh, stress the cables or anything like that also a tweezer it comes really handy now we're going to remove the two screws for the fan again it's phillips screw the screws are the same size you can just lift up the fan but remember there's a cable right here the flex cable for the screen is tangled right here you want to untangle this cable and grab your fan again if it's dirty just with a compressed air just clean it up blow air through it now we're going to remove the heat sink by removing four screws on the heat sink the screws they have a c lock on them so it will not come out so you just have to loose them up there once you loose them up just lift up the heat sink and you won't want to take it out and clean up the duct and push air through it so it just cleans up nicely you can even wash it if you want to now we're gonna grab our workshop towel grab a little bit piece and soak it in an alcohol and start cleaning the heat sink remove the old thermo paste I don't like that they don't know have a copper here it will be a really nice feature if they use a copper uh, plate so you can attach go directly copper to copper not a metal to a copper uh, this one to have a low heat transfer but what can you do now same thing here we're gonna grab the working towel and we're gonna soak with an alcohol clean up the cpu die on top right there once you clean it up you want to do a second pass with a dry towel make sure there's no dust particles on the die and it's really clean you want to grab your thermal paste you put a one drop right on the big die and tiny line or whatever you like on the other die it's not conductive if you put too much it's just going to spread around it's not going to do anything but so grab the heat sink bring it over align it on top it's straight so you want to put it down it's straight you don't want to put it sideways or it's going to push the thermal paste to one side grab it from the middle there's a number one two three four or so if you don't have a number just cross it screw them doesn't matter in which order so i'm going to go with one two three and four All right, next, grab the fan, bring it on one side, put down the cable, tangle it back down, and place it right there and put the two screws for the fan. Now, once you have the screw in, grab the connector, the jack, and the jack only goes in one way, so don't worry about rotation, and push it all the way to the jack now you want to put back down the connect back down the power jack for the battery so pull it backwards align it and then push it towards the jack make sure it goes all the way in nicely and that's it pretty much now the last step would be to grab the bottom cover bring it over First, put the VGA side on here on 45 degree angle. Make sure you just grab that hook right on it. So make sure it goes right on there. And then you want to bring this side down on the motherboard. You don't want to press on it yet. All you need to do is to screw down the screws. And the screw is going to pull down the case to itself. So just screw it down. 
tighten up the screws and at the end if you see any gap opening you just want to pinch the top and the bottom cover if there is any gap i'll show you in a sec okay all the screws in now we're going to open it up and see if there is any gap opening and truly there's a gap right here opened right here so what i'm going to do i'm going to push squeeze both of them and that's it now open it up and at the back by the logo right here you want to push it down and the cover is just going to snap back up back inside the place and that's how you uh, clean up and repaste your uh, CPU on this model. I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, click that thumbs up button. And I will really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them or requests. And I'll try to get back at you guys as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.